Hi, Julia Waldorf, JuliaWaldorf.com. Good morning. Well, I was, you know, sitting here just thinking, just thinking. And um, my new thing is looking up words. So, so I looked up uh, the word greed because it's come up um, lately um, with people I know, <laughs> which is not a fun thing. <laughs> but, um, and um, lo and behold, I looked up the word greed. And what does greed say? What is greed? Greed is, let's see, it says greed is excessive desire for wealth. Greedy is wanting more than one needs or deserves. Having too strong a desire for food and drink. Gluttonous. Yikes. Okay. Then I looked up, um, for whatever reason, enable has come up into my life this last week. Um, and it's like, well, you know, what is enable? You know, what is enable? Because the person who was greedy didn't want to enable. And it's like, well, what is enable? So I looked enable up. All right? And enable is to make able, provide with means, power. To provide with means and power. So they use the word enable with the, the alcohol and drug related issues that people have. Yeah, you know, do you do want to give them, you know, money so then they go out and drink. Yeah, well, you know, go ahead. Go ahead and drink. Do whatever you got to do. Because people who drink that much usually are medicating their stuff, from what I can tell, um, in order to cope with life. So, so yeah, that's enabling them to have power within them, themselves to be able to cope with themselves. Now, if you enable someone to, say, help out if they have, <laughs> they need tires and they can't afford to get them and they're, and you have the money to provide for them and you, you're good friends with them, Enable them to buy them tires. They can pay back, may not pay back, but yeah, why not? Give them power to be safe on the road makes sense to me. <laughs> and that's not a greedy thing to do is to buy tires for someone if, if they really need it and they are working their butt off, but it doesn't, um, for whatever reason, the time hasn't come for money to flush it, you know? Um, so, so there you go. Those are the two words that I think is really interesting. And then I also have this, The Science of Being Great. Love this book, actually. And it goes in saying, you know, actually be a good person and, and you know, work and things happen and, and um, everybody can make money, but can everybody be great? That's what my thought is. I don't think so. I think a lot of people make a lot of money that aren't great. And they become greedy. And then they die with a pile of money. And then everybody around them fights for it or kisses their butt for it before they die or while they're alive and blah, 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 you know, hoping to get some of that money. That's kind of a strange thing, but that happens. It happens. Anyway, um, so in within here, it says, you know, never be gluttonous for pleasure. In all things, you must make the flesh obey the spirit. You must lay aside greed with no unworthy motive in your desire to become rich and powerful. It is legitimate and a right to, to desire riches, which I totally agree. If you want them for the sake of the soul, whatever you, you want to take that as. But not if you desire them for the lusts of the flesh. Cast out pride and vanity. Have no thought of trying to rule over others or of outdoing them. This is a vital point. There is no temptation, temptation so insidious as a selfish desire to rule over others. So to exercise some sort of control over others is the secret motive of every selfish person. And I find that people with a lot of money have a tendency to want to do that too. So the trick is, I suppose, if you, upon making money, upon being great, money comes. That's how it works, I believe. Um, one way or the other. People take care of you and or um, money comes because people take care of you. <laughs> and then, as you're becoming great and being great, then money comes in and it's like, oh, well, what do you do with this? Do you empower people? Do you enable them? Do you empower people to be safe on their own? Do you empower people to be able to do what they want to do with their passion and what they want to do with life? Do you empower people to be able to make decisions if you help them with money? Yeah, enable. Enable, people should enable people more. Because um, I got to think about that too. And it's a way of exchange of love. Because if you really love your loved ones, you will 
enable of them to do what they want to do with what the ability they have to do it with, with, it, with, whatever, with, with it, whatever they would like to do. And be it they want to live off of you, or be it they want to expand and be on their own and do their thing, but you give them a little boost. Anyway, there's my thought of the day. Enable. Enable your loved ones. <laughs> if they need it, you have the ability to do that, do it, because you'd be surprised what will come back later, I suppose. Have a great day, Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao. Oops, ciao, ciao. <laughs>